Hello there! Hello! Hello! Magandang araw, magandang buhay po sa inyong lahat. Hello everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Ito ang muli si Adela nagpapasaway sa YouTube. Today, we're gonna talk about Wi-Fi. We're gonna talk about Wi-Fi radiation. Okay? Do you know that Wi-Fi radiation is dangerous for our health? It is. Okay, maybe you are asking now why and how it affects our health. A study shows about the dangers of Wi-Fi radiation. As the technology is improving, they have discovered also the possible effect of it into our body and into our surroundings. There are nine grade students in one of the school of Northern Jutland School in India. They want to experiment. They want to know what is the possible effect of the radiation into our living cells so they they decided to do an experiment okay they use 400 grass seeds and put it into 12 different six trays they put six trays of seeds into the room where there is wi-fi and they put the six trays of the room where there is no wi-fi okay so do you know that wi-fi routers transmitting radiation like the one we are seeing in our cell phones you know our cell phones do have a radiation so let's go back to the experiment so these children after 12 days they have found out the big difference difference of the plants in two rooms okay so they have found out that the plants or the seeds in the room where there is wi-fi they have found out that these seeds are already died and it not it's not growing and what and also the room for the seeds where there is no wi-fi are still healthy and alive so these are the difference okay let me show you the example it's just an example so this is the grass seeds from the room where there is wi-fi it's already it already died while the room for the wipe while the room that has no Wi-Fi is this is the result of the plant so it's still healthy and it's still alive so these are the big evidence of radiation into our body however these two rooms that they put an experiments they have the same air they have the same water they have the same sunlight but still they have different effect because of this Wi-Fi radiation okay so it is important to know the effect or how to use our gadgets okay so it is important to be careful on how we use it in our everyday life so according to professor ole johnson department of neuroscience korolinska institute in sweden he said that it may also cause brain tumor or dna damage okay Dr. Korolinska, Dr. Johansson also said too much exposure in microwave radiation and wireless internet system, it may also cause infertility among the 5th century of women. Okay, so maybe around 100 years or 150 years, maybe people said, oh, let's stop using Wi-Fi. No, I didn't say we should stop using Wi-Fi because it causes bad effect in our health of course we need wi-fi we need internet nowadays okay what i'm saying is we have some things to do we have some things to avoid in order to lessen the radiation that comes into our body okay so there are four ways we can do what can we do in order to avoid radiation number one we have to use wired connection instead of using wireless connection so most of internet routers now put ethernet cable that can connect the cable from the routers going to the gadget like computers laptop or cell phones so in this way only the device only the devices that are connected through internet are the one absorb the signal into it instead of the radiation to scattered all over the corner of our house okay so that's number one avoid using wired connection avoid using wireless connection i mean so number two avoid sleeping with your cell phones nowadays you know many children are sleeping with their cell phones in the night which is not good because when we are sleeping and the signals that comes out from our cell phone it can affect 
our body it can affect it can give bad effect into our body especially for long hours of sleeping so number three put your cell phones into airplane mood you know if you put your cell phone into airplane mood if you're not using your phone again and if you are sleeping you know if you put it into airplane mood it can disconnect the function in it and second it will also save your battery okay so number four put some plants into your house or into your room this can these kinds of plants can lessen can absorb the air pollution it can absorb the radiation into into our body okay instead of us instead of our body to absorb these plants can absorb it for us okay so according to the article emphadevice.com entitled 10 plants that can absorb electromagnetic radiation do you believe that there are some plants that can absorb electromagnetic radiation me i believe so i have plants in my house in my room so i believe they can absorb air pollution too so if you want to know if you want to jot down these 10 kinds of plants to absorb radiation then bring your pen and your paper number one is betel leaf ivy rubber plant cactus snake plant okay let me show you the example this is the snake plant okay this one this is snake plant okay spider plants also these are in my room this is spider plants okay so stone lotus flower asparagus fern mustard green and aloe vera so these are the 10 plants that can absorb radiation into our body so these are the four ways in order to avoid or lessen the radiation that comes out into our body so please i hope do try to do it in order for the um, i mean for the sake of our health and for the sake of our children okay so these are the things you can do i hope that this video can help each one of us and thank you so much once again for listening thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and if you want to be notified whenever i have a new video please click the bell button thank you so much today we're gonna talk about ginger or luya we all know that ginger has so many health benefits into our body but can a person can everybody take ginger or is it okay that everyone can take ginger or there are some medical conditions in which a person cannot take ginger so atin pong alamin yan in just a few moments just keep on watching before we go to our main topic let me tell you some health benefits of a ginger ginger and enzymes to help digest food it also known as cure for many different digestive disorders ginger can also detoxify our body according to study on center for plant in biotechnology and molecular biology in india they have found out that ginger is an effective food as anti-cancer and it has the ability to stop cancer cells in colorectal and breast cancer. However, ginger has a bioactive compounds and nutrients. It also consists of a compounds that can affect some health benefits, some medical conditions, I mean. <laughs> which entitled, do not use ginger if you have any of these conditions. You want to know these four conditions in which a person cannot take number one po, pregnant avoid ginger if you are pregnant because ginger has a high stimulants in digestion for muscles health consuming ginger while pregnant may result to pre-contraction and labor it should be avoided by a pregnant woman during the last trimester from this Ginger will also stopping the absorption of fat soluble vitamins, nutrients, and diet iron. And iron is the very most essential needs of a pregnant woman during pregnancy. But it can also lessen the morning sickness of a pregnant woman. 
Anyway, you have to consult a doctor before taking ginger. Number two conditions po if a person is under medical medication or certain medications. If a person is under medications like high blood pressure or diabetes. Pag tayo po ay meron pong diabetes o minum po tayo ng mga gamot na ito sa pang high blood pressure, iwasan po natin ang pag-take po ng ginger. Because the combination of ginger to insulin, beta blockers, and anticoagulants can change the effectiveness of the medicine because ginger can make the blood pressure low and it has a blood thinning effect so consuming ginger during these medications can affect the effectiveness of the said medicine kasi po kung tayo po ay nagtitake po ng mga mga drugs po na ito ng mga medicines po ng pang diabetes at high blood pressure magkukontrahan po ang gamot na ito at saka yung ginger so mawawala po ang effectiveness po ng gamot na atin pong iniinom o magkaroon po ng interaction po so iwasan po natin ang pag take ng ginger if we are on this certain medications number 3 po if, if we have a blood disorders po Tayo po ay meron pong blood disorders, stop using ginger because ginger is good for blood circulation. It helps a person who has diabetes, obesity, peripheral artery diseases. For people who has having a hemophila should stop using ginger. Ano ho ba ang hemophila na ito? Hemophila is a medical condition in which the blood cannot be formed normal. The reason is it has lack of blood thinning proteins. Hemophila po is a medical condition in which the blood cannot be formed normal. The reason is it has a blood clotting proteins. That's why po even a small injury for a person is cause for him to bleed too much because of this conditions po. Kasi po, meron po tayong humipilya at masugatan lang po tayo ng konti. Ang dugo po ay patuloy-tuloy po na dadal. Blood clotting proteins po sa ating po mga dugo. So, iwasan po natin ang pag-take po ng ginger kung tayo po ay meron pong hemophila. Number four conditions po if a person is underweight. So, if a person is underweight, he or she should stop taking this ginger. Because ginger has rich in fiber that can raise pH and helps produce digestive enzymes. A person who is eating ginger can lose the appetite to eat. It helps digest food easily. So if you are underweight, avoid using ginger. Consuming ginger in this condition, eating ginger in this condition may result in hair falling, loose weight muscle thinning, and irregular menstruation. So, if you are having these four conditions, stop using ginger. Ulitin ko po, pag tayo po ay meron pong um, blood disorders, pag tayo po ay pregnant, if we are underweight, and if we are having certain medications, so avoid using ginger po. But meron pong mga alternative foods po for ginger. Kung gusto po natin kumain po ng ginger, there are some foods that is alternative to it. So, these are the bell pepper, cayenne pepper, red paprika, red pepper, and sweet pepper. Sabi po ng nutritionist, cayenne pepper has a ginger effect into our body. And we can eat also the sweet pepper by adding some cayenne pepper if we want it to be spicy. And also, we can make nice detox drink by pepper by adding some lemonade. So, yan po ang tungkol po sa ginger. And we must also have to know that we also must have to know that not all kinds of plants are good for our body. We must also know the situation in which we can or we cannot use ginger. So it's better po to consult a doctor before taking these herbal medicines or ask somebody which kind of herbal medicines is good for our body. So that's it po about ginger. Sana po yung nakatulong po ng konting kaalaman po sa pagkain po na ating ng ginger sa epekto po ng ating pong katawan. Sana po yung nakatulong. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Please don't forget to hit